What's up YouTubers, Mr. McRaven here and welcome to my unboxing video of the uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760 graphics card. And this one comes from MSI and it is the Hawk Edition graphics card. And this is a uh, pre-overclocked, factory overclocked uh, GPU. And uh, before we take a look at the uh, innards and the card itself, we're going to have a look at the, uh, the box and some of the features uh, listed on the box uh, itself. So moving around to the back of the box, uh, we can see it is a uh, GTX 760 Hawk Edition card. And we can see it has uh, 2 gigs GDDR5 memory on a 256-bit memory bus. And down here we can see some of the features that uh, come included with the card. We start up the top here with NVIDIA TXAA, GPU Boost 2.0, PhysX, FXAA, Adaptive Vertical Sync. Uh, there's my cat, so that uh, doesn't come with the graphics card. Uh, there's a uh, Microsoft DirectX 11.1 ABI supported with some features. Uh, SLI, CUDA, uh, PCI Express 3, and of course NVIDIA Shield ready for those of you that are interested in NVIDIA Shield. Moving on to the minimum system requirements, you will require at least two 8-pin PCI Express uh, power connectors and a minimum of a 500 watt or greater power supply with at least 30 amps on the 12-volt uh, rail. Now you can check that uh, on the sticker that's supplied to your power supply. You will need a reasonably good quality uh, power supply just to run uh, the card. So there's the uh, Stealth Fighter that is uh, commonly known with uh, MSI Hawk cards and uh, 2 gigs of memory, three uh, PCI Express 3 and DirectX 11 and of course moving back to the front of the uh, the box we can see again it's repeated uh, 2 gigs GDDR5, PCI Express 3 and DirectX 11. It is an overclock certified card which means you can uh, push uh, even more performance out of it and if we lift up the flap here we can see uh, some more features listed on the inside flap. So we'll be taking a quick look at some of the features here. So we can see it has dual 10 centimeter fans, 100 mil fans. Uh, there and uh, thermally it should be around about 10 degrees or more lower than a reference version and also 12.48 decibels quieter and uh, there's uh, some info here on the uh, the uh, blade technology included and also the 8 millimeter super pipe uh, heat heat pipes that are included in the heatsink. There's uh, two heatsinks, one to cool the components on the PCB and of course uh, the other one where the fans are attached to cool down the GPU. Uh, as well, there's dust removal technology where the, span, uh, the fans will spin around backwards to blow dust out for 30 seconds at the beginning of a, a system start. There is a dual BIOS switch where you can switch between a normal BIOS and of course a liquid nitrogen BIOS. You don't need liquid nitrogen in order to uh, flick the BIOS, you can use the uh, both BIOSes together. Uh, there's uh, three points on the card where you can actually measure, measure the voltage using a multimeter and we'll see that a little bit later on when we get the card out. And of course the usual MSI military class components uh, showing you the new uh, ferrite chokes and uh, the really good quality uh, dark capacitors which they're using on uh, this edition of the, uh, the card. So moving on, let's get this card out of the, uh, the box. Open this little flap and get the, uh, the box out of the box. So we slide that out there and we're going to get rid of this uh, outer box packaging. So we've already had a look at that. And uh, once you've opened it up you'll see this uh, black accessories box, box at uh, the top. The uh, nice little MSI logo there on the top. So we just need to get open these flaps and get inside to see what uh, extras it comes with. Just pull open here. So first things first, a quick user's guide which usually gives you some information on some of the products and some of the details of their products. So there we go, gaming series, afterburner, and there's some uh, description of their fan technology there as well. And of course the usual uh, quick start information. Uh, this is one of two 6-pin to 8-pin uh, uh, cables that come supplied instead of the 4-pin uh, the Molex to 6-pin, uh, things like that. You get two of these. Uh, these uh, cables which is quite a nice touch for those of you that don't have 8-pin uh, connectors and of course you get the driver disc and CD uh, and it also on here is the MSI afterburner but I would recommend going to the MSI uh, website to download the latest version and of course going to the NVIDIA website and uh, download the latest drivers for your graphics card from there uh, as well now this is one of three VGA hotwire cables which you can then plug into your graphics card and measure the uh, different voltages from the card. And uh, out pops here. 
It's a bit stuck in the box. So there's the second one. It's two out of three there. And also included is the uh, the good old standard DVI to VGA adapter. For those of you that still use a VGA monitor. Somewhere hidden in this box is the extras. And there's the uh, the second 6-pin and the third. Oh, that's it. Got that one. And uh, there's the third VGA hot wire cable. So you've got one, two, and three VGA hot wire cables. You can use these in conjunction with the multimeter to measure the voltages. And of course, the two six pin, two eight pin connectors. And they're, they're quite good quality. So you can't really moan about the quality there. So that's good if you don't have uh, two eight pin connectors uh, with your power supply. So you can use that. So that's the uh, accessory box that it comes with. So if we take off the uh, top black foam covering, we can unveil the uh, the goodie underneath in the custom foam uh, packaging. You see it's nice and safely tucked in there. This also comes in a anti-static bag. Now do remember when you are removing your GPU from uh, any static packaging uh, that uh, you don't discharge any of the electricity on yourself into the card. So do take care when you're uh, unpacking any electrical items like graphics cards. So we can flip that over so we can use that in a moment. And I'll pull this bad boy out of the bag. So, as we can see from the front of the uh, the uh, graphics card on the bottom, we can see the black and yellow design, which is uh, quite nice. If you have a black and yellow themed PC, it'll look uh, it'll match in quite well. If you don't have a black and yellow PC, don't worry too much because you're not really going to see the black and yellow once it's uh, installed. And inside there, we can see the huge eight mil uh, nickel plated heat pipes and the heat sink to the GPU that's a good good decent amount of cooling that's going to be coming from there we can see here at the end the VGA hot wire plugins you can focus in there we go and uh, those are the three points where you use those three supply cables if you want to measure the voltage uh, of the the memory the uh, the core the core voltage and uh, there's another voltage in there that you can measure as well if you want to do that there's the uh, one of the hundred mil fans the uh, propeller design Moving on to the side, we can see the MSI logo uh, and of course the huge 8mm uh, nickel plated heat pipe which comes uh, right up to the uh, two 8 pin PCI Express uh, power connectors. Uh, the heat pipe can get a bit in the way when you want to come remove the connectors but uh, with a bit of fiddling you will be able to get it out. There's a, a little bit showing there of the, uh, the metal heat pipe, uh, uh, heat plate that helps cool down the components. Now on the back of the card you can see a nice uh, Hawk backplate added to the card and I think all graphics cards should come with a backplate because it makes them look so much more uh, awesome. There are holes in this backplate which allow for a bit of airflow as well which is nice but it definitely looks much better with a backplate than it would be uh, without it so it's a nice touch. Um, due to the fact that the, cost, the card actually costs a little bit more it's nice to see that and of course there's the SLI fingers there. Uh, I think you're proud to run these up to quad, uh, quad uh, SLI not entirely sure. We can look at the back connectors here. We remove these little protective uh, plastic covers. Get rid of those. Get rid of that last one. We turn this over. We can take a look. And we can see here on the uh, the right hand side there are two DVI connectors on the top and bottom. There's a HDMI and of course a display port there as well. And there's a small little vented area to let some uh, hot air escape out the back of the card. Now most of the hot air will be escaping into your case uh, but there is a little ventilation there on the back. We take a look again at that massive heat pipe. Now if I leave this here in the box let the camera focus in you can have a good look at the card. Focus. There we go. So as you can see this back plate with the uh, Hawk written on it looks really nice. Covers majority of the, uh, the PCB itself. It looks really good. So it's nice to see that on the graphics card. The side looks pretty good as well with that rather large heat pipe going all the way uh, down to the power connectors. And uh, of course moving on to the bottom, the black and yellow theme. It's a, a very good looking card. The shroud is pretty sturdy. It's made of a nice uh, metal type material. You've got these two 100mm uh, fans which will spin in the opposite direction at startup blowing out any dust. 
which is quite good and then they'll spin up to uh, cool down the GPU so with two of these fans running you're you're going to have a nice cool uh, GPU now you've got the yellow trim going along here you could of course mod this to paint this a different color if you uh, if you really wanted to change the color to suit your case but I think it looks quite nice and for the most part you're not really going to notice it once it's uh, installed now what I can say is uh, having run this card I haven't tested out these uh, VGA hot wire things because I haven't needed to, but if you're an extreme overclocker, uh, then of course you can of course check out that feature. But uh, running the card in my system, I found it run very cool and very quiet. And having these uh, power connectors, uh, cables, and uh, the VGA adapter came in very handle handy as well, uh, as I do have some old VGA monitors around. Let's just take a quick look at those cables again. So of course, running this card, it uh, runs very cool, it runs very quiet, uh, no issues at all. Now, if I was to compare this to some PC case fans, I'd have to say that it runs uh, silent, uh, to be perfectly honest. Now, at 100% load, you're going to kind of see temperatures around about 60 degrees Celsius at 100% load, which is pretty cool for any kind of car, but it runs really cool on, uh, on this card, and that was at 60% uh, fan speed I can't remember what the RPM is for that but it was a 60% fan speed no issues at all with cooling uh, whatsoever now if you want to check out some numbers of how well this card actually performs in some games there is another video that is going to be up on my YouTube channel uh, which should be next to this uh, video and uh, you could check out the results uh, for the frame rates for this uh, card there if you like the video click like if you dislike the video click dislike if you have a comment or anything that uh, you want to say you want to add then uh, feel free to leave a comment of course if you want to get in touch with me uh, you'll need to do it via the new google plus system which has been implemented into youtube until then take care and have fun